I'm going to show you guys how to get to that secret mansion spot on the map that I'm sure a lot of you out there have wanted to get to and couldn't figure it out. I did from day one. I was like, how do I get there? One of the first places I went to the first few days of playing, I can't get there. You can get there. And apparently my live stream chats have told me that people have already done this using cheat engines. Well, I'm here to tell you today that you can get there on any platform without downloading anything. You can actually just get there, okay? Uh, it's going to require two exploits. Uh, you're going to need to know how to do the flying melee weapon exploit, and you're going to need to know how to do the invincibility exploit. I have videos on both of those. I will link both those videos at the top of the description below. Uh, a third one that you may need, it's good to know, is the speed exploit, because if you don't go far enough, you're going to need to use that too to get through here. Now, this is going to take a while, so it might possibly, or you might get it first try. It depends on how good you are at button jamming. Uh, or also if you can rebind buttons. If I'm PS4, you can. I'll go through that in a second. So, uh, yeah, you're going to need to be invincible so that you don't take fall damage from terminal velocity. You're going to need a flying glitch because you're going to try to fly over the boundary. And also you're going to need speed exploit in case you don't quite make it and get soft locked. You might be able to speed exploit past it, which is what happened to me on my first uh, time getting through here on, uh, on a live stream. All right, so you're going to pull out your melee weapon. Uh, let me try to see where we're at here. Make sure we're lined up. All right, you want to look at the map. Make sure that you are lined up correctly. All right, we are going to remove the weapon so we can fly. You're going to unequip it, re-equip it. All right, we're ready to fly. Now, before we go, I do want to say if you are on PS4, you have the op option to make it an easier button to press, which you can go to Settings, Accessibility, and then go to button assignments, customize button assignments, and you can change it. For me, I put it to square because hitting a trigger is extremely difficult fast enough for this exploit. Uh, on Xbox, I don't know if you have that kind of feature, uh, but that's something to look into. If you have a turbo controller or some crazy special controller, that also helps. If all you got is a trigger, there's nothing you can do. Well, it's going to be a tough exploit, but it's doable. It's just really freaking hard on your arm. Okay, so we're going to try this, and we're going to see how this goes. Oh, and also you want to look up and look down just a little bit so that you'll be moving forward just a little bit. And then you're just going to spam as hard as you can. I'm just going to concentrate. Once you've gone really high, start holding forward. You'll fall because of it, but it's important. Holding forward, holding forward, holding forward. That makes us move forward. You just want to go all out on this. All right, we've, the screen turns great. means we're falling for sure. All right. Oh, man, I'm like out of breath. All right, so we're close, but we're not quite there. But we are very close. So if you didn't quite make it, you want to get all the way to where it's going uphill. But if you didn't quite make it to that, you may still have a chance by using the speed exploit. You're gonna need Karenzikov. And then, dude, I'm literally out of breath from jamming so hard. Okay. Uh, if you zoom in like this, you can activate Karenzikov with a dodge, even though you can't pull out weapons. You cannot pull out weapons here, so when that message is up, you cannot do the flying exploit again, but you can speed exploit. And if you're lucky, it'll let you pass the boundary. So we're going to speed exploit and see what it does to us. Oh, hold on. I messed it up. There we go. All right. I, we got through it, I think. The message isn't going away, but we're through. We've made it through. So now you're going to follow this wall. Once you've gone far enough to the right, you want to go right on this wall. Once you've gone far enough, now you can pull your weapon back out. Okay. So, step one complete. Whew. Man, I'm still out <laughs> of breath from jamming so hard. Okay. Oh, step one's the hard part. Now for the easy part. Now we just got to use the flying glitch to get where we need to get to. So uh, let's go ahead and take this thing and put this thing away. All right. We're going to go up. And once you go up a little ways, now you can start holding forward. I can just let go now. I should be... In oh, I didn't quite... Nope, I can't let go now. Okay, wait. I slightly misjudged it. Okay, hold on. We'll just go really high then. All 
Okay, now let's just go super high. Now we hold forward and keep swinging for a little bit. Okay, we should definitely be over by now. If we're not over by now, I'm going to be surprised. Okay, there we go. All right, so step two complete. Now you're going to want to run up to this building. <sighs> Finally, we made it. We made it. So, you're going to go up to this building, but we got one problem with this building. Spoiler here for this building. Uh, this is not real, but that is real. So, what we're going to want to do... You can actually do this a bunch of different ways. You can just fly up from the underneath and you should just go straight through. That's what we're gonna do because that's the easiest. You could also come in from the side and then fall on top by holding forward in the middle of your flight. Uh, that's also an option. So uh, I think we can just get up right here. We're gonna try it. Okay, nope, nope, can't get up there. Must have to go through the, through the blank spot. Okay, let's try going up right here. Okay, apparently not. Okay, then must be over here that you go up. I did it before, so I know you can. Maybe it's this one then. I just forget which one. And maybe this is water, so maybe we can just go up here. I'm going to hold right just in case and fall over to the right, because I don't know if we'll fall back down on that. Yeah, so this is water. We, we, may, we may just fall through. I'm afraid to even jump in it. Uh, so now we are up here. Whew, man. Uh, and get up on here, and you get this beautiful view of Night City. Super good for a screenshot if you're into screenshots. I already took one myself. It's, it was a pretty good time. Uh, this place doesn't really have anything. There's basic furniture. There's no items. There's no like nothing to loot. Uh, it's very buggy with rendering, but uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. Uh, some kind of mansion of some sort. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run around and show you all the furniture and stuff, all the different things. Uh, I don't know, this place must just be for parties, because it seems like it could seat, like, a few hundred people. Uh, let's get back up. I'm afraid to walk on that. I'll probably just fall through that. Uh, yeah, we've got beanbag chairs. A pool. Uh, just more seating, more seating. Uh, I'm scared to go near that seating if we're going to fall off. We've messed up the render. I can't see where the water is now. Uh, I'm going to go back this way. Uh, there we go. We can see again. So, yeah, just more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. Let me switch it to daytime so you can see a little bit better. Because if you're watching this right now and it's hard to see, let me switch it to daytime. Take a quick look around. Just that the, the uh, view of Night City is better at night. So, uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like during the day. It's a pretty beautiful place, but there's really nothing to it. Uh, if you want to, you can glitch inside of this room using the... Uh, wall glitch exploit which i'll link in the description below i'm not going to bother showing it it's a kind of difficult wall to get through but there's absolutely nothing in there it's just a blank room but you can get in there if you want to get in there i'm just not going to do it because pointless so uh, now if you were wondering just like i was for the longest time is there a way to get to this thing i don't even have a name for it if you if you wanted to get to that thing just like i did and were bothered that it was out of the map and you couldn't go there don't be bothered anymore, because now you can go here anytime you want and uh, hang out at your private resort, I guess. But yeah, so now you know how to get to the secret floating luxury resort, resort. <laughs> in Cyberpunk 2077. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot. Even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!